So let's learn how to take X-rays for the de Deft Fix program. This holds true for any deformity correction, but a few points are pertaining to Deft Fix. So an ideal X-ray is uh, where all struts are visible, all connectors should be seen. Struts should have the X-ray markers. Maximum length of the bone should be visible so that you can mark the shaft axis or and joint axis etc to do the corrections metaphyseal deformities uh, joint should be visible so that you can mark the joint line well beam center should be marked with a radio opaque marker one should have a magnification marker or scaling object a minimum of 80 millimeters, preferably 100 millimeters onwards. Uh, one has to note down the source to film distance in millimeters and do not flip any of the X-rays. Otherwise, there will be an error and you will not be able to match the orange lights. So this is how an ideal X-ray is going to look for a metaphyseal deformity. The blue arrows uh, point to the joint line seen well. The red arrows uh, point to the beam centers and the yellow, yellow arrows are showing the scaling object which is 100 millimeters here. All the struts are well visible, the connectors are well visible and their uh, x-ray markers are also well seen. There may be an overlap of some struts in, one, in either of the views but um, that is something which is unavoidable what we need to concentrate is on how the x-ray the bone is going to be looking on the x-ray so do not accept an x-ray like this this is a metaphyseal deformity uh, in the ap view the joint is not seen well the beam is not centered on the joint um, the ring is obscuring the joint so you will not be able to mark the joint line here well if you don't mark the joint line well you will not be able to correct the deformity also well same thing on the lateral not a true lateral the um, ring is obscuring the joint some of the strut is getting cut there This is okay in terms of an AP X-ray, but again, the joint line is not perfectly seen. This is like a single focused on this ring, um, but the strut is getting cut here. The beam center is not seen, even the osteotomy is obscured. So this is more, more likely not a true AP anyways. So do not accept an X-ray like this and repeat it. These are good X-rays of the same model. Joint line is well seen with the blue arrows. You can see that both AP and lateral. All the struts are visible. The scaling object has been placed clearly and is not being cut. And these X-rays are OK to proceed with the software. So how do we measure the source film distance? Uh, the limb is placed on the film and not on the table directly. The, film, um, the distance you need to measure is from the source to the film where the scaling object is placed and the limb is touching the film. This is not acceptable uh, where the uh, film is kept in, inside the bucky and the limb is on the table and the measurement is being taken to the film, but this is wrong. Same thing for the lateral. A true lateral is an ideal orthogonal x-ray. So turning the tube is... Uh, better we always uh, prefer doing it like that these are sh shoot through laterals and again the distance is measured from the film 
to the source that way turning the patient will not always give you a true lateral or orthogonal view but though the software accepts it but um, that is not the ideal x-ray to be measured on uh, beam center so this is what we have been talking about in the x-ray collimator there is a cross here which is seen here and that's crossing at this point where the beam center uh, the red arrow is pointing the radio marker is placed there the yellow arrow is showing the scaling object placed on the film same thing on the lateral that's the x-ray cross here and the radio peak marker for the beam center the yellow arrow there is showing the scaling object so this is just a video showing how that collimator looks and focusing on the right area and this is how that beam center is marked thank you now we go ahead with